Hey, this is Mike Massey. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the way I pick without a pick. I don't, I don't like to use flat picks. I will. I'm not crazy about thumb picks. You know, like you'll see people like want to get a little extra room from their thumb. I just, uh, I feel like it boxes me in coming up and down. So I tend to use the back of my index finger as sort of a hard surface to. Now I'm gonna. I'm gonna come up and down with my index finger. I'm gonna use my thumb a lot for alternate bass picking. I'm going slow. And then I like to finger pick, so I'm, there's a lot of times. And I'm gonna change sometimes within a song and I'm gonna anchor with that fourth finger right there. It's, good, it's a good idea generally to try to anchor when you're finger picking so you can find those spots in a, in a speedy manner. If you're not anchored, you, you're really gonna have to be good to sit there and, and know your place. So I, I like to keep my fingers free and not have to grab a pick. And if, I, if I'm strumming something and wanna switch, I don't have to get rid of my pick or I don't have to find the pick again. So <laughs> the way this plays out on a song like, let's say um, Folsom Prison Blues by Johnny Cash might be a little something like this. Well, I hear that train come rolling around the bend. And I ain't seen the sun shine since I don't know when, Lord, I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. Time keeps dragging on. Now I'm not only playing the thumb and the back of my finger. You see these fingers moving around, but they're just following. The only thing that's hitting the strings are these two right here. And I don't have a pick. If I want to go into a break and start picking a sound, something like this. And I'm back to strumming. I'm going to slow down. That's all I'm doing. Fast as you want to go, and if you want to slow down, pick. picks.